both cattle that are susceptible to disease and those that are resistant to disease get infected and they have large numbers of parasites in the blood. The difference between them is these resistant cattle can carry on producing milk and being useful to farmers. And we found that although they produce a strong immune response, that immune response doesn't uh, include the fever type reaction. Now, fever is very useful in resisting many diseases. We get fever if we have measles as children, but it can also be very damaging. And the difference between these two breeds of cattle is that one can use an immune response that includes fever, whereas the other uses an immune response that doesn't use fever and uses other routes to control the parasite. We've seen uh, a lot of differences in how these different animals respond. For example, cholesterol levels, which are uh, very cause of anxiety in the rich north, uh, go down in the animals that are susceptible. But this is actually an indicator of a poor outcome. And we collaborated with colleagues in the intensive care unit at the University of Salford, and they monitored cholesterol levels in patients in intensive care and they also found that low levels of cholesterol are associated with poor outcomes. And so this became a prognostic indicator for them.